When it comes to flexible off-grid power, there's one thing I know for certain. A portable power station is a must, but the power station market has never been so saturated with new brands and models coming out all the time. It's hard to know what to choose. We tested two of the latest and greatest power stations from EcoFlow and Anchor. How do they stack up, you may ask? Well, you might be surprised by the outcome. Welcome to another Tiny Stuff Project Review. Today, we're excited to show you guys EcoFlow's brand new portable power station, the Delta 3 Plus with a base capacity of 1,024 watt hours and a base output of 1,800 watts. It appears to be truly industry leading. Not only does it have the fastest charging speed among competitor portable power stations, EcoFlow boasts that it outperforms them in several other key areas. So to put their claims to the test, we ran some experiments on the EcoFlow Delta 3 Plus against the Anchor Solex C1000. But first, let's see how the specs compare. So they're both on par with the power output. So each of them is 1800 watts each, but the C1000 falls behind in watt hour capacity. Listen, I totally get it. Watts versus watt hours are totally confusing terms. Mm -hmm. Just try to remember this. Watts is the amount of power a power station can deliver. So the total output power determines how many devices and what type of devices the power station can run. Again, both of these power stations have 1800 watts of output power, so they can run 99% of all devices. Mm -hmm. But what's really cool about the Delta 3 Plus is that it has this cutting edge X-Boost feature. When you turn it on, it can deliver 2200 watts of output power. Dang! <laughs> but the question is, how long can the power stations run those devices? And that's where watt hours come in. Watt hours. <laughs> huh? Watt hours indicate the amount of energy a power station can store. So a power station with a higher capacity means greater storage and longer run times. While the C1000 just edges out the Delta 3 Plus on base watt hours, they both can be expanded, but the Delta 3 can be expanded by more than two times that of the C1000. And that's a ton of power. Okay, now to show you our first test, the noise level face-off. And we're gonna see which one is louder, the Delta, the Solex, or me snoring. <laughs> it's definitely him snoring. It's probably me snoring. <laughs> so EcoFlow claims that the Delta 3 Plus can be ultra silent. We're talking less than 30 decibels with a load up to 600 watts. Mm -hmm. And they're saying 600 watts of something that's plugged in using 600 watts of power. Right, and when 1200 watts of stuff's plugged in, it's only 40 decibels or less. That's the claim. Yeah, and I actually have not heard the fan at all. I have not heard it since I've been using it. Interestingly, Anchor doesn't advertise any noise level claims about the C1000. No, oh, but it is very noticeable when this is on and pulling a lot of power. You can hear the fans for sure. Even when it's just charging, I think there's a big yeah. sound difference. Yep. So the big claim to fame of the Delta 3 is its recharging time, that it is ultra fast compared to all 1000 watt hour power stations for AC wall charging, solar charging, and car charging. But with that said, the Delta 3 Plus actually just edges out the Solex C1000's AC wall charging specs. The max AC input for the Delta is 1500 watts, which is supposed to recharge it from zero to 100% in 56 minutes or less. And the C1000 has a 1300 watt max input, which can recharge from zero to 158 minutes. So when we tested them side by side, the Delta 3 took exactly an hour to charge. And it didn't quite get up to 1500 watts of input, but close. Yeah, very close. And then the C1000 took 17 minutes longer than the Delta 3. <laughs> and it also oh. didn't reach its full 1300 watts. Totally. It was closer to like 900. Yeah. Unfortunately, we weren't able to test the charging speeds of solar and car charging for these two. But based on the specs, the Delta 3 Plus is miles above the Solex C1000. 
The reason they're so far apart for solar charging is because the C1000 can only take 600 watts in, but the Delta 3 Plus, you can shove a thousand watts into this guy, and that's amazing. And because of that, you can charge the Delta 3 like almost 40 minutes faster than the Solex. That's significant. That's way faster. But what's really insane is the car charge time differences between these two. When they say car charging, they don't mean, you know, like the old cigarette outlet that's now a power outlet. Yeah, the 12 volt. Yeah, it's a little 12 volt because that only comes out out real small wattage. It's when you connect it to the alternator. 800 watts of input from the alternator to the Delta 3 Plus. Mm -hmm. And you also have to purchase another thing to go with that but worth it. Totally worth it because you can charge this guy in just over an hour and that's eight and a half times faster than the C1000. With the 12 volt auxiliary slash cigarette. Yeah, you know, dealio. <laughs> <laughs> because of that, I kind of think the Delta 3 Plus is an absolute game changer for RVers and van lifers mm -hmm. who want max off-grid power, but with minimal setup. Yeah. It's just the idea that in an hour trip to your next campsite, you can arrive with a fully charged battery. Totally. Uh, power station that's gonna work for hours. Yeah. And then hopefully be getting solar input. Mm -hmm. So another cool thing is that you can use that car alternator charger to jumpstart your car or use it to charge RV 12 volt or 24 volt house batteries. Now it's time for round three of the power station showdown. App things. App edition. App edition, that's better. <laughs> <laughs> so how different could the apps really be, you ask? Well, we'll tell you. <laughs> Both the apps look pretty similar, but EcoFlows definitely looks a little snazzier, I think. They both show how much power is coming in and going out. You can also turn on or off different kinds of power. And they both have helpful settings like recharge speeds. So for instance, you can change how much power is going in for a slower, quieter charge. But EcoFlow's app offers so much more with their smart energy management system, because it will send you reminders for low battery or long-term storage, so you don't harm the batteries. Yeah, that's, that's great. And that'll make it last longer. Exactly. My favorite is the storm guard setting. Storm guard! <laughs> huh? Storm guard! No, mine's better. It guards your storm. Get it? <laughs> anyway. Can't bring her anywhere. <laughs> if a severe weather event is predicted in your local area within 12 hours, it will send you a notification to fully recharge the Delta 3 Plus before a potential power outage. Are you kidding me? <laughs> right? That's insane. That's the best setting. <laughs> that's Seriously. super cool. And that's particularly helpful if you actually want to utilize their built-in UPS feature. What's a UPS? A UPS device powers equipment nearly instantaneously when the power goes out. Mm -hmm. So if you have like your computer plugged into the Delta 3 and the Delta 3 plugged into the wall, the power goes out, it just keeps on running. Right. Depending on the UPS type, it could take one to 12 milliseconds to kick on if that happens. So it's like between now and now, 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 and now, <laughs> now, 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 and now. So and that's quick, right? It is quick. And lots of power stations boast of their UPS function, but most really aren't that great as a true UPS. For instance, the C1000 has a 20 millisecond <laughs> uh, kick on, but the, Delta 3 Plus only has a 10 millisecond. But really the quicker the better for preventing any damage to things like servers or computers or other special stuff. So to be honest, my main complaint about the idea of using a power station as a UPS is like Christian said, it already needs to be connected at the right moment. Yeah, it's yeah. like <laughs> yeah. you have to predict when that moment's gonna be. Yeah. But I think the EcoFlow has changed my mind a little bit in that that they have that storm guard setting. Yeah, that's crazy cool. Yeah, yeah. since they're going to give you a heads up. Then you can go ahead and plug it in because you know there's a storm coming. Plug it in, run all my hard drives off of it, and if the power goes out, I'm good. Exactly, and also make sure it's fully charged. Mm -hmm. Well, because of that, and also 
the flexibility that you get with the recharge, I mean, it charges crazy fast. Yeah. And you can actually do dual charging with AC and solar, which like the C1000, you can't. I mean, so there's flexibility there and also flexibility with the expansion. Anyway, all of that adds up to be actually a fantastic home backup power tool. In the power station market, it is really competitive, but I do think that EcoFlow with all of these really cool options stands out majorly. Well, I think they're like trying to assert their dominance. Like we're at the top totally. of the, the heap and we want to stay there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so the big question here that you guys are for sure asking is what is the price comparison here, right? Yeah, it's actually pretty surprising. Yeah. It's a lot cheaper than I expected. I mean, that's relative to be fair. Totally. But not that long ago, these power stations were going for 2,000 or more dollars. All right, just for a thousand watt, right? Yeah. yeah. So right now, the regular price for the Anchor Solex C1000 is a thousand dollars. And surprisingly, the EcoFlow Delta 3 Plus is $800. That's the regular price. No. It's on sale for 650 right now, <laughs> which is cool. But like, don't buy it for 650 You know why? Why? Is because they're they're just releasing this and they have all these cool bundle deals oh there you go yeah so you can get this with that um 800 watt car alternator charger mm -hmm. for just 848 bucks that's a savings of 550 dollars that's a killer deal and that's what i would want is that alternator thing to go with this i think at the end of the day you got to say this is head and shoulders over the anchor yeah totally. even though when the anchor came out it was, it was cutting great. edge yeah yeah but to actually be cheaper like that, yeah. it's nuts. So if you want to learn more about everything we talked about today, and in particular, the EcoFlow Delta 3 Plus, see the link in the description below. Thank you for watching our video and for stopping by Tiny House Expedition. I'm Alexis. And I'm Christian. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And for more tiny home tours and stories, click the videos below. And join us on Instagram for bonus content. Including face-to-face -face conversations with us. <laughs> <laughs> we hope to see you there. All right. Thanks, guys. Have a good one.